A few moments later. Back off queen. Man. I believe you didn't think this through. I capture the knight, and now attacking the queen. You are forced to trade queen. Which even break the pawn structure on the king's side. No. I will capture your queen. 4. Against. 3. You lose a piece. Developing the bishop. Connecting the rook. Come my rook. Double up and attack onto the pawn. Okay now. Go back bishop. Need you to protect the pawn. Now bishop. Triple attack onto the pawn. He's better not be playing that one move that I think he would. It's such a phenomenal fuck up if he does that move. I can't think of a bigger fuck up than C6. Oh yeah! I am attacking the rook here. And if you capture the bishop, this is a checkmate. You are quite smart indeed for not capturing the bishop. But did you see this move coming? It may seem like I just block my own rook. So that now the bishop is free to capture. But in the end, my knight will still fork the rook! Even after a rook trade, the knight is still attacking the rook. If you run, that is checkmate. The knight is securing one of the escape square of the king. Once again, he didn't fall for my plan. If you capture the knight, I win both the rook here. Now as you didn't capture the knight, I win one pawn with that brilliancy. Save me please. Yo. Just as I expect. Why do checkmate in one? When you can do another staircase for extra emotional damage. Checkmate. 